<coughs> Professional developers write this in their CSS all the time, but beginners almost never use it. And today, I'll show you exactly why it matters. So what exactly do professional developers put in their CSS code, and why do they even bother? Well, the answer is CSS comments. Think of comments as little notes inside your code, notes for yourself or for other developers. They don't affect how your web page looks at all, but they make your code much easier to read and understand. In CSS, there is only one comment style. It starts with a slash and an asterisk, and it ends with an asterisk and a slash. Anything written between those symbols is ignored by the browser. You can use it on a single line, a single line comment, or multiple lines, a multi-line comment. The browser skips it completely, but humans can read it. That's why comments exist. Now let's talk about the most important part. There are two main purposes for using CSS comments. If you are not a beginner, you might disagree and say, No, I disagree. There are many purposes. Yes, I agree with you, but every other reason you've heard about comments falls under these two. First purpose is to explain code. Professional developers use comments to explain what a section of CSS is doing, why a certain style exists, and what something is meant for. This is helpful for teammates, future developers, and even your future self. Because trust me, you will forget what your code does. Comments make your CSS readable, friendly, and professional. Second purpose is to stop code from running without deleting it. This is one of the most powerful uses of comments. Instead of deleting CSS, developers comment it out. Why? To test designs, to debug problems, and to temporarily disable styles. The browser ignores the commented code, but the code is still there, safe. Nothing is lost, nothing is broken. So remember this, CSS comments are not for the browser, they are for humans. Once you understand that, you'll start using comments the right way. HTML also has its own comment. I have talked about it, link in the description. In my next videos, I'll start introducing you to some CSS properties and their values. You also have so much to learn in HTML. We will continue learning CSS and HTML together, so learning won't get boring. This might surprise you. I teach step by step, even though I post short videos. If you don't want to miss my future videos, follow or subscribe. And remember, if you don't have a laptop, this is your space. I teach web development using just a smartphone.